हेलो फ्रेंड्स आई एम डॉक्टर इंदु बंसल डायरेक्टर रेडिएशन ऑनकोलॉजी फ्रॉम नारायण सुपर स्पेशलिटी हॉस्पिटल गुरुग्राम टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस विद यू रिगार्डिंग लेरिंजल कैंसर और द ट्यूमर्स ऑफ द वॉइस बॉक्स लैरिंग्स इज एन ऑर्गन व्हिच इज सिचुएटेड इन द नेक एंड इट हेल्प्स इन प्रोडक्शन ऑफ वॉइस सो लैरिंग्स इज लेरेंजल ट्यूमर्स आर वेरी वेरी कॉमन कैंसर्स इन इंडिया स्पेसिफिकली बिकॉज ऑफ कंजम्पन ऑफ टोबैको इन एनी फॉर्म सो पीपल हु कंज्यूम टोबैको इन एनी फॉर्म से स्मोक और स्मोकलेस बीड़ी सिगरेट पान तम्बाकू गुटखा जरदाज खैनी दे आर एट इंक्रीज रिस्क ऑफ लेरेंजल कैंसर एंड स्पेसिफिकली इफ दे ऑल्सो टेक एल्कोहल एंड टेक अ वेरी स्पाइसी फूड दैन द रिस्क ऑफ लेरेंजल कैंसर ग्रोज अप मल्टी फोल्ड the laryngeal cancer is and uh, larynx is enclosed in in a framework of cartilages which prevent the tum- spread of tumor outside the voice box now the most common symptoms of voice box cancers are hoarseness of voice difficulty in speaking change in the quality of life the uh, slurring of speech and sometimes if the tumor spreads locally and it puts pressure on the pharynx it may lead to difficulty in swallowing and sometimes patient may have complaints of coughing as soon as they eat food it may also lead to pain in the throat and if the tumor has spread to the lungs it can lead to symptoms of uh, chest pain uh, difficulty in breathing breathlessness or or uh, breathlessness while climbing stairs so it's very very important to diagnose this cancer uh, easily and early this can be very easily diagnosed and your ent specialist may put in an endoscope to visualize the larynx directly and they at the same time they can also take a biopsy to confirm the variety of cancer and also to see its spread in the adjacent structures similarly we also have to do a, a ct scan of the neck and chest to see the local spread of tumor as well as to see it spread in the lungs in, in advanced cases we also do a whole body pet ct scan to ex, to understand the local extent as well as the extra laryngeal spread and me, distant metastases of the tumor the treatment depends on the stage of the uh, of the disease in early stage say in stage 1 it depends in which area the tumor is located it can be in the glottic area that is a tumor of the vocal cords it can be a supraglottic cancer or it can be a subglottic cancer or the tumor may involve all these areas so if the tumor is in stage 1 it's very very easy for us to preserve the voice of the patient and the patient does not need any surgery sometimes they may need a laser resection and even after laser resection some patients may need radiotherapy in stage 1 cancer the patient may not need chemotherapy but if the tumor is in stage 2 or stage 3 in stage 3 tumor specifically we need a combination of radiation and chemotherapy to cure this cancer radiation is a painless modality and it is given with advanced techniques of radiation like imrt igrt with which we are able to focus radiation on the tumor and spare all the surrounding normal structures hence curing the tumor as well as preserving the quality of life radiation is typically spread over a period of 6 to 7 weeks 5 days in a week and with this we we combine chemotherapy once in a week to cure the tumor if the tumor has spread beyond the uh, the thyroid cartilage or there is cartilage invasion in those situations we have to use a combination of surgery radiation and chemotherapy to cure these tumors so it's important to diagnose the tumor early so that we can preserve the voice box of the patient and radiation is a very effective modality for organ conservation of the larynx If the patient has initially received radiation and chemotherapy and the tumor recurs or it comes back in those situations we have to do salvage laryngectomy but in if the patient has stage 4 disease or it is spread to distant organs in those situations chemotherapy or immunotherapy are used to cure this cancer so because hoarseness is a voice hoarseness of voice is a symptom which can be very easily diagnosed so these tumors can be diagnosed early even in stage 1 when it's not just possible to cure the tumor but also preserve the voice quality so if you want to preserve your voice quality please don't ignore your symptoms go to a radiation oncologist on time 
and a team of radiation oncologist medical oncologist surgical oncologist physiotherapist speech therapist and nutritionist will be happy to take care of you and give you a good quality of life so my only advice to you is please don't smoke do not take alcohol drink lots of water keep yourself hydrated avoid spicy and pickled food and if you have any symptoms please don't ignore them go to the doctor on the right time get the right technique of radiation and a combination of chemotherapy to preserve your